Welcome to Jamaican Roots and Culture. I'm your host, Pat Clark. We will dip into the island's bread basket and come out with a fruit that many Jamaicans enjoy. In Jamaica, we call it pear, but the rest of the world knows it as avocado. Although the fruit is native to Central America, there's evidence that it has been growing in the island since the days when European explorers made their conquest of Jamaica. Historical records indicate that in 1672, the doctor of King Charles II of England visited Jamaica and described avocado as one of the most pleasant and rare foods of the island. It makes a paste similar to butter and has a very good taste. He noted that it is nourishing and strengthens the body, lifts the spirits and has a good effect on libido. English settlers called the avocado alligator pear as they compared the skin of the fruit to the skin of an alligator. Historically, there was a time when Englishmen would shy away from publicly consuming the avocado because of an Aztec belief that the fruit is an aphrodisiac. The Englishmen did not want others to think that they did not have natural prowess. European sailors called the avocado midshipman's butter, delicious on hard track biscuits. In Jamaica, now they're eaten with breads and bullers or even with a main course meal as a vegetable. Some Jamaicans have also adopted the habit of making a guacamole dip with the avocado. This is even served in five-star hotels. The guacamole has a Mexican origin. There are many varieties of pear in Jamaica. These include the Simmons, English Alligator, Bottleneck, Lula, Collinson's, and Winslowson's. Some pear are soft and buttery when ripe. Others are dry and powdery. Whatever the consistency, they always provide a nice side dish for any meal. Here is our Jamaican proverb for the day. See come out, fish get catch. Because of its mouth, the fish got caught. This means talking too much will get you into trouble. See come out, fish get catch. For Jamaican Roots and Culture, I'm Pat Clark.